Welcome to the second part in the LinkedIn series. If you want to see more such videos, subscribe to Coding Ninja and don't forget to press the bell icon. When you connect with people purely for the purpose of referral, understand that they have no incentive to invest any time in you. So you have one of two options that comes under good referral etiquettes. One, connect early. Make them your mentor or your sponsor and then ask them for a referral once you start applying for jobs. People move around a lot these days and it's impossible for you to maintain relationship with different people in different companies in different roles. Most often than not, when you're applying for a job and you need a referral, you're in a very big time crunch. That brings me to my second option. Here are some steps you definitely need to do before you ask for a referral from someone. Do your homework. First, go to the career portal of different companies and then figure out what are the different open positions. Don't just go to that person and ask them if there is any open position in the company. They are not going to go and search for jobs for you. Second thing, always send your resume when you're asking for a referral. Third thing, send them a short paragraph on why you think you're qualified for the positions that you've sent. This is important in the referral form of many companies. It can also be used to introduce you to their managers in case they are giving a direct referral. So without following these steps, do not ask for a referral. The link for this page is in the comment section below, so don't forget to check it out. LinkedIn helps you discover your earning potential. The salary page on LinkedIn has very interesting data, including how the salary is distributed based on location, industry, and also the company size. This page also interestingly suggests similar jobs. So in case if you don't like a role in a company that you like, then you can at least gain experience from similar jobs and then apply back to this company. However, obviously the main reason for this page is to check the salary. This is a very interesting option, especially when you want to negotiate salary when you're joining a company. The accuracy of this salary is slightly iffy to me, but at least it's a good start. There is a view jobs option on the top of the page. When you click on that option, it navigates you to another page that describes the qualifications, the requirements, the responsibilities and the skill set required for this particular job. These operations work exactly like how it would work in any search engine. You can refine your search using and, or and not. Always type these words in capitals. For example, if you're searching for a software engineer position, but then in your search results, you're seeing a lot of junior, then you want to get rid of that. In order to get rid of it, you will use the not operator. If you're open to applying for both software engineering positions and test positions, then you will use the or operator. If you want to apply for software engineering positions, but you only want it in Microsoft, then you'll use the and operator. You kind of get the idea. You can use quotes for exact string matches. You can use parentheses for priority in execution. While we're at that, the precedence of execution of operations is first given to quotes, then to parentheses, followed by the not operator, the and, and finally the or operator. You can search the entire LinkedIn database for published posts and articles. You can even have access to posts and articles published by people that you're not connected to. Type your keyword in the search box on the toolbar in the top and then in the toolbar right below it, you will be able to find an option called content. Click on that. I mainly use this to figure out influencers in a field and see what they are working on and what they are posting about. Most often than not, influencers in a particular field also repost interesting posts and articles. This way you can always be up to date with the latest work on the subjects that you're passionate about. Not just this, you can also engage in conversations with authors of these posts and articles by commenting on their posts. The link for this page is in the comment section below, so don't forget to check it out. This is an online education platform. It helps you discover and develop business or technology related creative skills. It has a lot of course videos that are led by industry experts. It has more than 5,000 courses and personalized recommendations. You can discover, complete a course and even track courses that are in your field of interest. You can also choose 
to add these courses and relevant skills to your LinkedIn profile once you've completed the course. Many of these courses come with exercises, assessments and also transcripts for the video. You can also download these videos offline to view them and you can also use the same LinkedIn learning to provide feedback on any of these courses. Thanks for sticking till the end. I have one more bonus point for you, which is the LinkedIn help page. This page has pretty much anything and everything that you need to know on LinkedIn from building your profile, growing your network, finding jobs and sharing content. Thanks for joining us today. Until next time. For new programming updates and videos, subscribe to Coding Ninja's channel.